Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on single page. We'll display record of single product in a single page. So let's start. First of all, open your terminal. Then in my case, CD to desktop. And inside the desktop, I write here my shop ls. You can see here. So I will activate virtual environment source my env then bean then activate after activate i will open vs code and you can see our vs code is open now i will just run the program here then start working on vs code so run dot file now you can see program is running let's go to vs code and here first of all i will go to index and here you can see product then index and we are displaying here brand and here you can see the detail so in detail url in href i will make their double curly brackets then i will write here url for and parenthesis single underscore page and then comma id equal to b id and you can see here we are displaying b price b name and this should be b id so now we will go down after pagination here you can see else if get cat prod and here we have this get cat i will go down and start the same as before just write here url underscore four parenthesis then single underscore page and comma id equal to get cat dot id so here you can see again we are using get cat price get cat name and then i will go down the last one here we are displaying the products i will come here and write the same for the product url for single underscore page comma id equal to product dot id so here we are done now what i have to do i will come to here route and this route is here in product then route and after the home here you can see we are displaying home after home i will start the app dot route and slash then product and then slash and then less than int then id and greater than and then i will define the function this function name should be single page as we defined there single underscore page and pass that id and then return render template and i will render the template of first inside the products then name also single page single underscore page html product then add product dot query dot get underscore or 404 and then pass this id here and pass this product variable here product equal to product now i have to create this single page dot html just copy this name single page dot html inside the product here template then product and i will create new file and paste this name here then i will come here in index just i will copy all from here and including extend layout i will paste them inside here single page then in this block block content so now if i go to here my local host 5000 you can see and if i click this one end block this should be end block okay now you can see here is our navbar and footer. So now let's start doing single page. Start with the container. I will give this also mt05 and then I'll write here one row and the inside row I will write colon md6. This should be two. And the first I will give it one id equal to b underscore image. Then and inside this div. I will write image and inside this src here curly brackets url underscore four and here we are in static and then file name equal to image that's the name of our folders and then here will be plus product that variable we pass there then image underscore one and for the alt i will pass the product name product dot name so now if i go to browser and display you can see we are displaying one image here but it's very large 
So what I can do now, I will give the width of this image, I will make it 400 and also the height, this image, I will make it 400. For me 400, 400 by 400 will be enough. Now if I go and you can see here we have image here and now I will come inside here I will just write here one h4 and the inside the h4 I will write the name of product product name this will be product name product dot name and then p and the inside the p here I will write product dot price and then I will just yeah, display product dot I will write one hr so there will be a line here I will write one condition curly brackets percentage then if product dot discount is greater than zero then I will write one p here and the inside p I will write copy and paste this discount product discount and then here I will end the if and if b bold just write this description product this should be product description not only description and then i will give one another p and inside this p i will write product dot desc and now if i go to here you can see this is product detail so what i have to do now i will display the three images if i go back to this watch you can see we have this 20% of discount I will write here for the discount this will be here like a dollar sign and for the discount I will write here percentage and now I will come back here after this row I will create another row dot ro inside the row I will write one column the here will be one column called md-12 and now I will give this one one ID ID of this one will be as image like small image I will display the all small images inside here when the image display as as before URL underscore four and parenthesis and static and comma the file name equal to image slash and plus image underscore one alt I will make the same thing here product dot name so if I display here now this should be product product dot image underscore one you can see this watch and very big what can I do here I will give it also width 120 and height also 120 so now you can see and now you can see this image is looking beautiful I will just copy this one paste it two times so this one will be image 2 uh, image 3 so now if I go to here you can see these three images are being displayed here if I go to home and then you can see they are all touch so what I can do now I will give this one empty 3 to give it a little bit space and then give one class of here I will make them some padding p3 I guess class of p3 will be padding 3 and here also padding 3 p-3 and now you can see these are looking good what I will do I will just do here when you click here so this image will display here so for this one I have to write some JavaScript so now let's start doing JavaScript I will just write script and then it comes like a JavaScript then I will write var b image image equal to documents dot get element by id and here we will get the id of b image and the second one will be here var s underscore image equal to document dot get element by id and here we will pass this as image as underscore image and also i will write here dot get element by tag name and then here i will use the img and this tag name and then i will start here for, uh, for loop var i equal to zero i i less than uh, s image 
as image dot dot length then i plus plus and then i will write here as image i dot add event listener here we will add the click and we will pass here one function that will be full image i will just give it full underscore image and then we will write come down here write function equal to full image and inside the full image function right here var and here i will get image as rc equal to this dot get attribute attribute of src and then i will write here b image we will put this one inside the big image b image inner html and here equal to img and close it here so img and close it here and then i write here src equal to and here i will pass this image now if i save go to browser and refresh if i click here and you can see this image is moving but i'm taking the other place so we will give the width and height i will come here and write here width for that equal to will be 400 height also will be equal to 400 now if i go to browser again refresh now you can see we don't have that large image here the last thing i will do here i will just pass one a a tag blank with class of bt and bt and warning and here this right add to cart and now you can see if i go to back in this image and now we have one problem here you can see if i go to brand we cannot see that drop down and category we cannot see that drop down so for that i have to go back in route what will i do i will just copy this this category and this brand from here and paste them inside and then copy this brand comma and then paste and for the category i will just come here and paste i give them indentation should be so now if i go to my browser refresh and you can see now we can see this categories also and i can go directly from here category rado you can see we are in rado and if i click from the category rado we are here that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye